Okay, so we just passed the hour now. We're going to uh, make a start. So thank you again to everybody, uh, one and all, for attending today's session. We're going to be running through some of the exciting new features that we've packed into Excite Pro version 2.5. Uh, this is going to be a fairly informal session. Um, it's really intended to get everybody together. As you know, it's been a free upgrade uh, that we've uh, we've given you. Uh, all version two users of Excite Pro have been given a, a free copy of the uh, the new 2.5 release. And as you'll also know from the mailings that have gone out, if you've not already had a look at the software yourself, uh, you'll know that the uh, the application comes with some uh, much enhanced features and also some uh, some new features entirely, which we're going to be really pleased to demonstrate to you right now. So. Just a couple of points before we get started on housekeeping matters. We always do this at the start of a webinar, uh, just to let you know this. Um, of course, it's a live event, and so you know everything should go to plan. Touch wood. Uh, if there are any problems at all, uh, then do please bear with us. Uh, for example, if we do lose a connection at all, uh, then we'll reconnect very promptly. Uh, do just uh, stay where you are, and the uh, the presentation will resume a minute or so if uh, the connection drops. Likewise, if you're having any problems with audio, hopefully you can hear us nice and clearly. Do let us know through the questions panel uh, if you can hear us nice and clear. Um, the, uh, if you do have an audio problem, then the suggestion is that you just drop your connection to the webinar, reconnect through the same link and rejoin the webinar. Hopefully that will clear your audio up. Uh, one final note before we actually get started with the content. Um, just to let you know, we do have the Excite Pro team, as always, in the background here, ready to answer your questions. Now, the panel that you're looking at right now, uh, that the uh, the webinar panel, the control panel, that is, has a section at the bottom of it uh, for uh, submitting your questions to us. Do please send your questions to us. This is an interactive session right now. Our team are ready and waiting for your questions. Those of uh, those of you who've uh, attended our webinars in the past will know that uh, we generally get through a whole heap of questions, uh, and we plan to do so as well today. So please don't be shy. Send us your questions, your comments, and we'll be sure to get straight back to you. And that's during the session. We will get to a few questions and answers at the end as well. Um, so uh, you can sort of save your questions up if you want. And those particularly interesting questions that we think will be uh, relevant to the whole group, uh, all of the attendees, of which we have many, many, many hundreds today, which is great to see. Uh, we will be sharing those, uh, those questions and we'll be answering those questions at the end of the session as well. So once again, thanks for attending. It's, uh, it's really good of you to take the, the time to come and check out these new features. So the running time, just for information, is an hour. Uh, we set an hour aside. Uh, we've got a lot of st stuff to cover, some great stuff. Uh, and you'll, as you'll see, uh, as you'll hear when we go through the agenda in just a moment, uh, there's quite a lot. Uh, so it's going to be a fairly fast-paced session. So I, I forewarn you, we're going to be covering off a lot of interesting features fairly quickly. And uh, then we'll pause for a moment at the end just to sort of round up and see if there's anything that we've not covered that uh, people want us to cover off in the Q&A at the end. So very quickly, the agenda. There are only two parts to this session right now, to this presentation. The first is the updated stuff. That is the uh, the parts of Excite Pro that we've enhanced, that we've overhauled in this new release, 2.5. And these updates include the templates, uh, they include site search box designs, menus, text boxes, quick pages, and more. I'll be covering off those in the first part of this presentation, this session. The second part uh, is the brand new stuff. This is the really exciting part. So you really do need to hang on uh, to this session, um, uh, to that part of the session. That's where we're going to be covering off things like quick content, Facebook like, Twitter share. Uh, we're going to be covering off keyword replacer. We're going to be covering off ClickBank products, hop ads, tag clouds, and domains and hosting as well. So a whole heap of stuff that we'll be covering off in that session. So two parts, generally speaking. So um, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's going to be an informal session. This isn't a, a formal presentation. It's not a sales pitch. This is just about us reaching out to you as part of the Excite Pro community and hopefully you know, getting you involved and showing you some really cool stuff that the software can do. Um, and this is also hopefully stuff that you're going to be able to readily apply to your own websites right away, straight after this session, if you're not already making use of the new feature set. Okay, so let's take a look right now at what's changed in Excite Pro version 2.5 and why this literally is the best version ever of the Excite Pro software. 
First of all, as I intimated and mentioned briefly in, uh, in my quick uh, verbal run through the agenda there, we have some fantastic new templates. And this is, of course, one of the great selling points of Excite Pro. Unlike a lot of other platforms out there, for example, WordPress, where to get a premium quality design, you generally have to pay anything up to 100 bucks just to get a, a single template. Well, the great news, of, of course, is that Excite Pro version 2.5 comes with over 200 fantastic high quality professional templates that you don't have to pay an extra cent for. You as an existing Excite Pro version 2 user, of course, get all of these great new templates 100% free of charge. So I'm just going to demonstrate some of those to you now, right now. I'm in Excite Pro, as you can see. Uh, I have a, a project selected in the top left-hand corner. If I click the Add Website button, you can see straight away that the template selection screen that you may be accustomed to for having used Excite Pro version 2 has changed significantly. There are several more sections now. We've got many more graphical uh, template selection options. We've also got a review template selection option. We have two sales letter selection options, as well as the uh, the blank and user generated options that there were uh, within version 2. I'm just pausing for a second to make sure that your screens update. Oh, there we are. You can see what I'm looking at right now. That's great. So if I just were to click through um, just a few of these categories of templates that we have uh, made available to you, you're going to start to get a sense, if you've not looked through these already yourself, of the quality of the templates that we've uh, we've produced for this release. And they really are exceptionally good quality. Um, I won't go through all of them for obvious reasons. We've only got an hour set aside. We'd uh, overrun hugely. And those of you who've uh, attended webinars that we've done before know we do sometimes overrun. So I'll try and avoid that in this session. And um, I'm just clicking through some of these right now and if you don't see the screen updating as quickly uh, as you might like don't panic uh, we will be releasing a recording of this session right now I have the recording tool running right now uh, to make sure that we you know you can uh, check back and uh, and watch this in a bit more detail if you want to review so a whole bunch of great looking graphical templates we also have as I said uh, review templates for creating review sites we'll be talking a little bit more about review sites a little bit further on in this presentation and we also have some fantastic sales pages. They are laser focused, single page designs uh, designed to take people in a linear fashion through uh, your sales message, obviously, hopefully culminating in a sale or, or an action, a desired action on your page. So uh, there we have a good selection. I'm just going to sort of click through a few more. Uh, hopefully your screens are updating and you're getting a nice taste of some of these wonderful designs. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these designs here, a sort of a nice uh, fresh blue uh, color design here. And I'm going to click OK to choose that design to create a new website. Those of you, of course, who've used Excite Pro will be familiar with this process. And clicking OK takes me to the Add New Website dialog, where I need to point out another subtle change, an enhancement, an improvement that's been made in 2.5. What you can see here, uh, the, the eagle-eyed amongst you, will see that there is in fact a new field uh, below the website title. I'll just call this site uh, Excite, Pro, uh, oops, Excite Pro Demo. Uh, there is a slogan field. Now the slogan is an integrated part of many of the new designs. I'll show you when we get inside the website what the slogan is, but it basically it's a, a subheading for your website. It, it's an easier way for people creating websites like you um, to add a, um, a heading and a subheading into the design integrally without having to sort of go into the page layout designer and start editing panels. It's just uh, a simplification of, of a process that we know a lot of our users uh, go through. So I could, for example, give a, um, a slogan for this site of um, this is a great new um, feature okay um, and of course I would were I doing this for real enter keywords and a description for the website as well so having entered that information I just click OK and Excite Pro will fire up that website create that website of course first of all and then open it ready for me to start editing and it's going to go into the site now, load it ready to uh, get started. OK, so my screen now shows the uh, the new website having been created in just a few seconds uh, and loaded for me, ready to edit. I'm going to click the page layout uh, tab there to uh, actually look at the design. And uh, when I look at the design, I can point out for you the slogan. Can you see at the uh, top left hand corner of the window here? I'll just wait 
once again for your screens to catch up a second. Uh, you should see in a second when your screens refresh that there is a slogan beneath the heading Excite Pro Demo. You'll see there is indeed the, uh, the text I entered as a slogan. This is a great new feature. Uh, and of course, that text and the heading I entered without having to actually do any design work at all. I just filled in a, a text box. So that's a, a neat little upgrade as well. So there we have the, uh, a quick overview of some of the new templates. I've signposted those. I pointed out the slogans. I'm now going to jump into uh, a blank web page. I'm going to create a, a uh, rather edit one of the template pages here in the web pages list and show you some of the new features that come bundled with Excite Pro version 2.5, some of the enhancements, some of the improvements that we've made. If I uh, click through to the design tab, for example, on this home page, what I'm going to be able to do just to uh, to get us uh, started with some of the features is look at the um, the updated forms wizard designs first of all. Okay, so all I'm going to do within the Excite Pro Designer window here that you will probably be familiar with, I'm going to right click and from the right click menu that appears, I'm going to call up the forms wizard. Um, option there, the module there, by clicking on the Forms Wizard uh, link in the menu, okay, in the right-click menu. And you'll see when your screen refreshes and catches up that the uh, the wizard appears. Now, uh, this is uh, something I'm not going to spend a, a great deal of time going through how to use the Forms Wizard because uh, this is something that we've covered in other tutorials and other demonstrations. What I am going to point out, though, in this session are the, the new parts, the things that have changed and improved uh, from version 2 to version 2.5. So what we're looking at in the Forms Wizard style option, this is step two, are a whole range of different styles of uh, name grab forms. These are uh, email and name capture forms uh, that have got some fantastic quality new designs, new look and feel uh, about them. So I'm going to click through a few of these. You can see them updating on your screen. Uh, as I click through these, you'll see that there are some fantastic looking uh, styles there, people peeking around, all sorts of nice uh, sort of header straps uh, and three-dimensional effects, uh, some really colorful, bold uh, arresting forms that are going to help hopefully jump out of your page, grab attention and have people fill them out. Now, I can see that the, there's a bit of a screen lag here as the, uh, the webinar is trying to sort of push the, uh, the, the screens out there to lots and lots of people. So I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these styles. This is uh, a style here with a, a person sort of peeking around the side of the form. And just go ahead and uh, accept the default entries there. Clicking Next. I'll enter a dummy list name uh, and just insert the form. Now, you've seen, obviously, my having only taken, what, 20 seconds, except in the defaults, uh, to enter that lovely looking design. I'm going to go ahead and preview that design in a browser right now. And I'm going to share that browser with you uh, just so that you can see in action this, uh, this new design, this particular design. I've selected one of obviously many designs. There are dozens of designs in there that we've uh, that we've added that really add uh, an, an air of professionalism about the forms. They make them even better than they were before. So you'll see once uh, your screens catch up that the, the form is looking fantastic there, sat in the page, a lot more professional looking, uh, and it certainly saves you an absolute age. If any of you have designed forms in the past, working with tables, trying to lay out forms within tables, doing the graphical design work and splicing that into tables, you'll know that it can be quite an arduous process. So to be able to do what I just did right there, insert that great looking form into a web page in a matter of, uh, of seconds, really, um, is a real feat, and it's a testament to the power of uh, Excite Pro version 2.5. So let's drop back to Excite Pro and uh, check out some other cool stuff. Let's see. We're going to build, by the way. So uh, if, you, if you're thinking this is interesting, just you wait. Uh, we're going to get some really, really exciting features covered off in just a moment. The next one I want to cover off, uh, having looked at the forms wizard, is the search box uh, enhancements that we've made. So uh, again, I'm going to call it from the right-click menu, this time the site search wizard, uh, and you'll see that the uh, the wizard appears. Once again, I'm accepting the defaults, and I'm just going to jump through uh, to the uh, search box style to show you some of the, the great-looking search boxes that are going to you know, really lift the uh, overall design look and feel of your site. It's a cumulative effect, don't forget. It's not obviously going to make uh, the world a difference on its own, but these things add up. And so when somebody's browsing your site, uh, and they see great looking search boxes, great looking forms, great looking page design and layout, great looking templates, of course. These things add up to what? A great user experience. 
And user experience uh, is a really, um, it's a really interesting concept, something that we're particularly keen on here. Paul and I have many uh, lengthy discussions about user experience. And it's something, in fact, that uh, I believe um, Paul wrote a, um, a post about in the Excite Pro Club recently. The point being that people's expectations of user experience these days is far higher than it was, say, you know, just a couple of years ago, due in part to the fact that you have these huge, you know, um, uh, incredibly uh, well-funded uh, Web 2.0 properties, the sorts of social media, social networking sites who employ the world's best, the most talented designers uh, to uh, to create these um, these incredible interfaces that people just take for granted. You know, when you're using using Twitter and you're using Facebook, do you realize that there are people being paid six-figure salaries to design these things? Uh, there's extensive user testing. What's happening is that subconsciously your expectations are, are being raised as to what you would expect from an average website. So it's, that's why these sorts of enhancements, although they seem small, uh, search boxes and forms and things like that, you might think they're the, the foot soldiers of a website, but they are really important because cumulative, cumulatively, as I say, they build an overall impression of quality for your website. So, uh, and if you want to read more about that uh, user interface stuff, then, uh, then do go ahead and check out the Excite Pro Club. Okay, so that's um, some, I'll just click through a couple more just to show you. There's some nice uh, examples here. Here's a nice, uh, let's choose a nice blue uh, minimal style. I'll just go ahead and click through and accept the uh, the defaults for that particular uh, style of search box and insert it into my uh, web page there. And once again, just to show you how quickly, you know, aside from my talking through the process and wittering on, um, how quickly you can in fact insert that into your uh, your site and then have that uh, published and onto a web page. I'm just uh, clicking through into a browser right now, previewing that web page and showing you the, uh, the search box there in situ. And I'm sure you'll agree when your page refreshes and uh, you can see what I'm looking at right now that it looks great. It looks a really neat, professional, simple search field uh, and, a, and a significant improvement on the uh, the search boxes that we uh, included with version two. So um, and I'll just uh, pause for one second, waiting for the screens to update. OK, so there we are. You can see that I'm just entering some text into the box there and clicking search just to show you that uh, you know, obviously this is a test. We haven't published the site yet, so it's showing me sample results. Uh, but uh, obviously when you publish that and uh, it's up and live, it'll be working a treat. OK, so back to Excite Pro once again. That's another feature covered off quickly there. I am rattling through these very quickly because, as I say, we have a lot to cover. The next thing I want to show you um, in the uh, the page here is the uh, the updated uh, menu design. So I'm going to hop over to the page layout tab, uh, and of course you'll be familiar, um, having used Excite Pro before, hopefully that uh, Excite Pro has of course got a, a range of menus built in. Those are menus for the left hand panel, the right hand panel, uh, or indeed the info bar, the strip across the top here. And you can see in this design that we're looking at right now, above the lady's face there, we have a, a series of menu options: home, about, articles, and so on. And we can customize these menus really quickly using the Excite Pro uh, page layout tools. If I go to the info bar section in the page layout window here, I can click on the menu settings button there in the middle of the uh, info bar settings and call up the, uh, the menu designer. Now you'll see if I hop over to the styles tab, again your screens will update in just a moment or two to uh, catch up if they've not already. Uh, you'll see if I click through some of the styles that are available, we've added a whole bunch of great looking professional quality menu options for you to use. And uh, if I just click through some of these, you'll get a sense of them. We've got Amazon, we've got the new Amazon tabs, we've got um, some obviously some of the old existing ones, angle tabs, big tabs. Um, what else have we got? I'm just clicking through. You've got some bubble ones there. You'll be seeing a selection of these. Although I'm clicking through several, your screens will update and show you those that uh, uh, happen uh, to appear for you. Uh, cut out, drop down tiles, glacier, glass. There's all sorts. And I'll, I'll leave you to have some fun, in fact, uh, checking all of these designs out at your leisure rather than me take you through all of them. There are loads of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and click this particular one, Glacier. Again, I'm going to select the um, go ahead with the uh, the defaults and um, just click Next and then Finish. 
and that's going to update my menu for me automatically in just a, a couple of seconds and you'll see as the page refreshes that I've now got this great looking shiny effect uh, blue menu in place of those standard text links and of course you can do that on any of the websites that you choose to design with Excite Pro so it's really simple to use and really professional quality so there's another uh, feature for you in action all right now um by the way i just need to um i've just been uh, told that um there are a lot of questions that are being asked which is great i did ask you to do that and that's fantastic keep going um just to let you know that those of you who have not yet received an answer please bear with us the whole team are battling away you know fast as they can to answer questions they're going as quick as they can and they'll get to your questions in just a moment so thank you for your patience while you wait for your questions to be answered moving on let's um, let's hop back to the uh, the web page here now I want to uh, show you how to um, insert another new feature which is uh, the overhauled uh, advanced text boxes. Now I don't know if you've used the text boxes tool before but um, the text box tool off the right click menu, this is the uh, in the design wizard section, it actually is a great way to box out certain pieces of content, things that you want to draw attention to. So uh, we have here, as you'll see, um, a whole range of really nice three-dimensional uh, reflection designs and nice bold call-outs or Johnson boxes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, we call them advanced text boxes. Um, and uh, if you click through the designs, again, I won't go through every single one of them, but I'm going to call, call up some of them. You'll see that there are some really nice effects, some nice reflections, which is obviously uh, a nice Web 2.0 effect. Um, I'll click through some others, some with nice drop shadows, some nice frame contents again with drop shadows, simple designs and uh, some really clean looking call outs. Let's um, just click through a few more. I'm just going to sort of uh, cycle through a few just again as I've been doing with the other design updates to show you, uh, to give you a taste of what's happened, you know, what we've improved, uh, some of the new, uh, some of the new styles. Um, let's uh, scroll down. Let's choose one of these ones here. Here's a nice blue one. Um, I've chosen a design here, and of course, um, I can just click next, update the settings if I wanted to. You know, insert more text, change the text, the alignment, the size of the box, and so on, the fonts and styling. And then I could just go ahead and click the insert button to insert that uh, that uh, call out that Johnson box um, in my web page. So I'm just going to uh, drop that into the page design there. Now, you can see I've inserted the text box to the left of a paragraph of text. I'm just going to take the opportunity to um, give you a little insider tip here. Uh, and that's a note on working with tables. It's something that we see a lot in the forum. Uh, but this advanced text box effectively being a table, um, it gives me an opportunity to share a, a little uh, tip with you. So um, here we go. Um, when you're looking at pieces of text um, alongside a table, um, a lot of people wonder, you know, how do I get the text to flow to the right hand side of a table? Well, the answer very simply is to select the table as I've done there. I've clicked on the outer edge there was a very faint dotted line denoting the border of the table I've clicked on that and all I need to do is click the left justify icon in the toolbar menu here in the designer window and that basically has the effect of left aligning your table and flowing the text round to the right the converse is true if I wanted to right align the table the text would then appear to the left so that's one tip for you here's another if I right click on the table uh, border, you can see the table selected. If I right click and select table properties, I'll just wait for the menu to appear so you can see what I'm clicking on here. Um, on clicking on the table properties uh, option in the menu that appears when you right click, there we go, uh, you'll see the table properties uh, dialog. The reason tables, um, although they're, um, they're a sort of a, a staple of HTML, they're not a sort of a, a cutting edge modern thing. They're, they're a, a workhorse of, 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 uh, of HTML. You can very easily manipulate the tables and lay them out in the, t in the page at, um, to, to, you know, to, uh, to meet your needs. So I've called up the table properties by right clicking, selecting table properties. I'm going to go to the style tab in the table properties dialog. That's the third one along the top there. And I'm going to call up the margin sub tab. Uh, 
And what I can do is effectively I can control the space to the left, to the right, to the top or to the bottom of the table independently of all of the other settings. So uh, for example, if I wanted to add some space here to the right hand edge of that table, so effectively push the text over to the right a little, I could just add a bit of padding, 20 pixels, sorry, a margin 20 pixels. Likewise, I could add a bit of space to the bottom. Just adding those values there, as you can see in those those boxes and the margin setting of the screen there. Um, I'm, again, I'm just waiting for your screens to update. Once you've added those settings, you can then go ahead and click the OK button at the bottom of the screen. And that has the effect of increasing the spacing. Can you see uh, as the screen updates, hopefully for you, you'll see that the uh, the gap effectively between that table and the text to the right is opened up. That's a useful little side tip for you. We're going to actually employ that again a little bit later when we look at another of the new features. So uh, bear that one in mind. So you'll get a chance to recap on that in a second. So that's the advanced text box feature. There's a whole bunch of new designs in there for you to uh, check out as well. Okay, at this point, I'm going to close this website and go to a different one, one with a little bit more content that we can work with. Okay, so this might be a little bit more, uh, a little bit closer to your own website, one that you've done a bit of work on, you've added some content. I, I kind of look at this part of the presentation as the uh, the website equivalent of a key change in a song, you know, just to <laughs> keep the interest going. So we're hopping over now to, this is an example site. It's one that we've created on a niche topic or a niche topic if you're uh, outside the US. Um, on uh, aromatherapy oils, okay? This is something that we actually um, build. This website that you're looking at right now is a site that we build from the ground, uh, from scratch, ground up, uh, in the complete guide to website building training course. So if you're interested in building a website from scratch, check out our uh, complete guide to website building course. So what we're going to do in this particular website is to look at a couple of other features. And the first of those features, I need to hop over to the web pages list and uh, and just um, add a new page. We're going to add a quick page. Now, for those of you who don't know what the quick pages are, they're a, a page template. They are to web pages what the uh, website templates are for websites. They're a template effectively. It's a quick way of adding content quickly that looks great. Okay, in a nutshell. So all I'm going to do is to add a quick page. Um, I go to the other button at the top left hand corner there above the list of web pages and select quick page. And then the quick page module uh, will appear. And from that module, you'll see straight away those of you who've used this tool that we've updated it. We've updated it how we've added a whole bunch of new designs, new looks and feels for the different types of page that you can uh, you can add. As you'll know, we've got things like uh, article pages, contact pages, uh, press releases, pr privacy statements, product pages, and so on. Um, what we're looking at in the articles page section here are some of the new designs. So we've got this blue band one. Uh, we've got, let's see, um, we've got a nice... Uh, corporate style one here with a nice gray box. We've significantly increased the number of designs for each of the different page types. So uh, do jump in and have a look at these. Of course, all of the new styles are applied to all of the page types. So uh, for every one of the, uh, every style that you find in there that's new spans all of the different page types. So you can get a nice consistent look and feel to the pages that you add with this tool. You'll also notice that we have near the bottom a, an entirely new category of quick page. And this is the product review page. And this is a particular type of page in that it's got uh, fields for pricing, for ratings and things like that, that are particular to review pages. Now review pages are of course a very popular tool of, uh, within the internet marketers arsenal in that they uh, give you the opportunity to create content uh, that is uh, effectively pre-selling people on, on a product. And of course you then give them the means to act on that recommendation for a product by giving them an affiliate link to click and then go buy the product. In so doing, of course, earn your commission. And that essentially is why review sites are such a popular uh, method of affiliate marketing for internet marketers generally. So uh, this tool, the, re the product review templates that you have here are a real addition to your arsenal uh, as an internet marketer. So they're nice uh, additions too, some nice new styles and a nice new page type entirely. I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a new uh, web page here. Let's uh, let's just go ahead and add a new web page using one of these nice new styles. Let's uh, let's try. 
I'll try this nice green design here uh, just to very quickly recap how this tool works uh, for those of you who've uh, perhaps not used this tool in a while. Uh, I'm just going to grab some copy that I've basically grabbed off ezinearticles.com. Okay, so it was a two minute job for me to grab that copy. Uh, I just did a search on a topic that's relevant to this website, that being aromatherapy oils, okay, or aromatherapy. And it came up with a whole bunch of uh, articles. I've just chosen one of these, and I'm just literally copying and pasting uh, from a, a, a notepad file that you can't see just now in this uh, this uh, screen. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting that information. Um, let's just put me 2009. Um, and... I'm just filling out the blanks. I mean, that's the beauty of quick pages is you don't even have to give a single thought uh, to the uh, the design, the look and feel. Uh, it's all done for you. So I can paste the body in and um, make it nice and easy to uh, to do all of this. Okay. So I'm not paying too much attention, this being a, a demonstration, of course. Um, and... I'm literally just filling in the blanks. I mean, that's the kind of website design that we like, right? <laughs> Fill the boxes in and press the button. So I filled the boxes in, I pressed the button, and there we have the great looking style, the great looking design um, that uh, we can just sort of sign off on effectively. Or I could tweak the fonts and you know change things around a little bit using the controls on the left if I wanted to, but I'm happy with the, the, the settings there. So I go ahead and click the Create Page button. And of course, there we have our great looking uh, quick page design uh, added as a new web page in our web pages list. And that's the beauty of quick pages. Now, many of you have seen that before, so I'll, I'll move on to a new feature. Now, the new feature I want to show you is the uh, the quick content tool. This is brand new. This has never been seen before outside version 2.5. Here's how it works. What I can do effectively is to um, create a space in my content somewhere that I want to insert a specific type of new content. It'll make sense in a moment when I show the uh, the tool. Um, if I have a space here, I want to insert, for example, a testimonial box. All I need to do, rather than sort of uh, messing about designing boxes myself, adding tables and you know trying to design it from scratch myself, I can just go ahead and right click with my mouse where I want this piece of content to appear. And from the window or the menu that appears, I can select the quick content menu option at the top there. Now, much like the quick content, uh, sorry, the quick pages tool, it's much the same tool. You'll see that we can add article content, all sorts of other bits of content. I can also add, as you'll see from the list here on the left hand side, I can also add testimonial content. And if I select a testimonial and just wait patiently for a moment while your screens update and catch up, you'll see that uh, the testimonial designs feature a headline, they feature the testimonial content, the name of the person, or, or a link to their website, and even a photograph uh, just to really bring it to life. So I can just go ahead and click through a whole you know, bunch of these just to show you some of the different styles that are available. Uh, there are some sort of bright ones, some, um, some pretty sort of bold ones. I'm going to go ahead and choose a nice looking one here with a blue header strip. Um, and uh, once that's uh, been selected, and you'll see that appear in your windows, I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's not that green one. <laughs> it's another one. Um, so with that design chosen, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste some text. Of course, you know, you type this in, but I'm just trying to save a few valuable seconds um, as I demonstrate this right now. And... Uh, as you can see, I'm just filling in the boxes and I'm just going to copy my testimonial here. Of course, we're not advocating uh, using fictitious testimonials. You should only use real testimonials on your site, but I'm just demonstrating the tool here. So I can then choose an image. I can click a, a browse icon and choose a, an image from my image library. Or indeed, I could, of course, browse my hard drive. I'm going to choose a, an image there uh, and give it some alt text. And then having uh, chosen my image and given it some alt text, I just go ahead and click next. I can preview the design here uh, and I can uh, click, uh, let's just make that text white. I can make uh, any changes that I want to make uh, to the styles uh, and then finish by clicking uh, insert. Okay, so that's a, a very quick fire way 
to add a testimonial and you'll see as your page is refreshed that the uh, the testimonial box is inserted at the cursor point that we started at and you can see that it's inserted a table with the you know the headline that we specified with the the picture the testimonial and of course the name of the person who submitted it uh, and a link to the website so it's a nice neat simple way to add that kind of content to your web pages okay so really powerful tool and it's much more than just testimonials by the way there are things like dividers there are section breaks all sorts of stuff so do go check those out as well all right let's move on so we're uh, how far are we through we're just a little bit past the halfway mark and we've got a, a fair bit left to go so let's crack on the next one I want to show you is really really cool okay so are you ready you've all seen obviously uh, the Facebook like buttons all over the internet these days you can't move for seeing recommend this or like this well you can recommend this and like this now with your own websites it's uh, you can join the uh, join the race as it were I'm just selecting a an existing article I've got here in this particular website uh, this design that we've done and um, remember of course this is um, uh, a site that we've designed from the uh, the complete guide to website building um, training course. So this is uh, this is an article that we created as part of that course, uh, as part of this website. You've probably got content similar on your own website, articles and so on. Uh, all I'm going to do to start with, just to keep things nice and simple, is just add a space here above the actual body copy of the article, and I'm going to right click from the right click menu. I'm going to go down to the um, social media menu option you may or may not be able to see that on your screens right now and i'm going to choose the insert facebook like option okay and the facebook like button uh, window will appear watch how easy this is to insert facebook likes and facebook recommend options so you'll see the window appears and it's got the settings that we can change for this option okay uh, we can choose do we want people to like the current page or do we want to specify a particular page perhaps our home page or our features page or our sign up page whatever it is uh, we can choose from the available layouts. You can have a standard layout, a button count, or a box count. Those are the different sort of orientations of the different designs uh, for the uh, the Facebook buttons that you see. I'm going to go ahead with the standard one. We can choose whether or not to feature faces. So as people recommend or like this uh, particular page on your website, their Facebook profile page will appear when any of their friends arrive at this page. So it's a great form of social proof uh, if you have that selected. We can specify the width. We can choose other options like the verb that we used, like or recommend, and the font and the color. And then just clicking insert adds one of the Excite Pro placeholders that you'll be familiar with. Um, and that's where our Facebook like uh, option is going to appear in the web page. Okay, simple as that. How long did that take me? With all of the preamble, maybe, I don't know, you know 30 seconds? Uh, compare that to going off and finding the code and you know inserting it into your source code and mucking about it just so much easier it's point and click easy so I'm gonna go ahead and preview that web page right now just to show you uh, how that then appears when the page is actually loaded published and somebody actually visits that web page so I'm just uh, sharing my browser right now so that you can see it it'll take a second to update obviously just uh, to uh, send that information to you and for those of you who can see the page you'll see um, that you've got the like button there you've got the information to the right of that saying that you know you're the the first of or i will be the first of my friends to like this when i when i click that like button uh, remember also that i could have suggested uh, selected that it be um, uh, recommend not like so uh, you can have a, a bigger button effectively um, and uh, we can choose you know different layout options so it was that easy to insert that sort of functionality into that web page that's pretty cool right um, what about Twitter though I mean Facebook's big but you know Twitter's pretty big too so um, you'll be pleased to hear of course that uh, we've got Twitter covered also and uh, once again I'm going to show you that it's point and click easy once again with Excite Pro uh, to insert this cool sort of functionality uh, all I'm going to do is uh, back in Excite Pro here I've got my article called up I'm just going to um, basically put a couple of spaces after the article uh, feature headline there and once again I'm going to right click and from the right click menu I'm going to choose the uh, social media option once again and this time I'm going to choose the insert Twitter share 
option, okay? Not the Facebook option this time, we're looking at the Twitter share option. And you'll see that there are a few different styles that we can choose from when the window refreshes for you. We have a nice sort of square looking button that we could uh, have with a tweak count and a tweak button underneath. Uh, we've then in the middle got a sort of a sideways on uh, variation of that theme and finally a small single sort of tweak button only with no count. Now for this particular part of this demonstration I'm going to go ahead and choose the middle option uh, because it'll sit well alongside my uh, horizontal heading text. Okay, We can choose what the text is that somebody's going to tweet. Hey, uh, hey everyone, uh, check this out. <laughs> Uh, pretty naff text, I agree, but there we are. And we can leave that URL blank if we want it to automatically pick up the page URL that they're looking at at the time. Simple as that, and click insert, I'm done. I've inserted a Twitter share link there. Don't panic, the placeholder text looks large, but you'll see uh, you don't need to worry about that. It, when it actually renders the page, when it uh, previews the page, you'll see that it, uh, it does its magic and uh, makes it look just perfect. So I'm gonna show you how that works by clicking preview. And uh, so once again, you'll see a web page appearing in just a second. And that web page is going to now not only feature uh, the Facebook like link, the button that we added just a couple of minutes ago, it also, alongside the article headline there, features the tweet link as well. So in just minutes, we've added uh, the functionality that you need on your web page content to allow people to share it, to promote your content onward. And of course, uh, anyone that's um, checked out our user-generated content report, um, at um, um, the uh, uh, X Comment Pro website and also the Complete Guide to Traffic course that we talk about social media a lot in, you'll know if you've, if you've seen any of those products or the course uh, that you know a huge percentage of people discover content these days through social media, through social networking. Uh, whereas you know in the old days, of course, it used to be almost exclusively direct traffic course or um, search traffic. These days, a huge number of people find content through this medium. So that's why it's important to consider adding these kinds of features and functionality to your web pages. Uh, the great news there, of course, being it's a snap to do it with Excite Pro. Clicking that tweet link would send a tweet uh, where I logged into Twitter uh, and it would use the text that I uh, specified when I set it up. So go ahead, try adding them. You can see it took just a couple of minutes. Try adding one, preview the page and click the button, see what happens. You'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised, I can assure you. So back to Excite Pro, because we're not done yet. We're not even done yet. So uh, we've added Twitter share buttons. We've added Facebook likes. I'm just going to show you, um, I'm going to get rid of that Facebook like one just now to show you another tip just while we're on the subject of sort of inserting this kind of functionality. One of the most popular um, buttons that you see, be they Facebook or Twitter, are the sort of the square ones. You may have noticed it when we were looking at the Twitter uh, module there just a moment ago. Now, the cool thing uh, that I'm going to show you is that technique I mentioned earlier, tables. Tables because it's just an easy way to lay content out, things like buttons, widgets and tools within the flow of text. Here's how I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to insert a table by clicking on the table, uh, insert table button on the toolbar at the top there. I'm just going to go ahead and insert a single cell table. And you can see that that table sort of appears um, at the top there. Um, it's pretty wide. It's got nothing in it. Well, all I'm going to do is um, I'm going to right click on that table as I did earlier. And I'm going to select uh, table properties. OK, uh, and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to um, basically delete the width setting because I don't need it to be 200 pixels wide. I just need it to be as wide as it needs to be. OK, and that's all I'm going to do for now. And you can see that on clicking that, um, it shrinks that table down right to a tiny little uh, tiny little table cell. OK, you can all barely see it there, but it's there. It's a table cell. All I'm going to do then is right click with my cursor inside that table cell. You can just see it above the text there. And I'm going to insert my social media Twitter share button. OK, so I'm repeating what I did a moment ago. The only difference is, is that I'm right clicking inside a table cell. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I added a single table cell. I deleted the width setting and I'm now inserting a Twitter share button. And this time I'm going to insert this uh, default one here, the nice sort of uh, almost square shaped uh, button with the tweet count above it. This is great. Okay, so 
I shan't dwell on the process there. I've just repeated the process of adding a Twitter share button. And you can see there's the placeholder frame. Okay, so you're with me so far, right? Now, two more steps to do very quickly. The first is exactly what we did before. I select the table by clicking upon the table border. All right, so I've selected that. You can see it's selected by the, uh, the sort of the boxes on the corners. And I'm going to click the left align, uh, the left justify uh, button in the toolbar at the top of the designer window. And that has the effect of left aligning the table. And you can see immediately the text jumps up and flows around the text, around the table there. Okay, so those of you whose screens are updating, you'll see that happen right now. I clicked left align with the table selected and the text jumped up to the top. Okay, that's fine, but a couple of things I'm not happy with here. One is that the table has a sort of a raised border, and two, I think the margin's a little bit close. The text is a little bit close to the feature. So back into the table properties by right-clicking and selecting table properties. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to get rid of the border uh, and the cell spacing there by just reducing those down to zero. Okay, so you can see uh, on the attribute screen, it's all reading zero all the way down. And finally, on the style tab, I'm going to then hop to the margin sub tab. This is exactly what we did before. Remember, I said you'd get a chance to recap. And all I'm going to do is set a right margin of, let's say, 20 pixels and a bottom margin again of, let's say, 20 pixels, just to create a bit of breathing room between the, uh, the feature. This is the Twitter share button and the text. And having set those uh, those margins, the right margin of 20 pixels and the bottom of 20 pixels as well, I'm going to then go ahead and click OK. And you can see that the text is still flowing around the text, uh, the table there, but it's got a bit of a, a white space around it, okay, a bit of breathing room. That's a neat little tip for you. I'm going to go ahead and preview that now just to show you how that then works up into a web page when it's published. But it's a neat tip because you can do the same thing with images, with text, with testimonials, whatever you want to place into a uh, into a table, you can position using that technique, okay? Um, so you can see um, that maybe we could do with a little space. Let me just add a quick space there underneath that uh, text and drop back to our web page. You'll see that, um, you know, just in seconds, uh, we've been able to um, neatly uh, adjust the uh, the look and feel of our page, add that uh, Twitter share button in the flow of text as you see in a lot of the big uh, big sites out there, news sites and social media sites. Okay, so they're pretty cool tools. Let's move on because we've got a, a couple of extra things to cover yet. The next thing I want to cover quickly is the uh, keyword replacer tool. Now, the keyword replacer tool, what's that for? In its purest form, the keyword replacement tool is for replacing words that appear in the text throughout your website with links, okay? Links that use that same word as the link text, so that would translate this word aromatherapy, for example, into a link that is uh, has the link text aromatherapy. Uh, and those links will point at an affiliate product typically, okay? so. We've given you lots of tools in the past, as you'll know, to monetize your website content. But if you've got a lot of content that's built around a theme, in this case, the theme is aromatherapy, what better way uh, than to go out there, find an affiliate product that's related to aromatherapy, and then change all of these mentions of the word aromatherapy into a link pointing at that affiliate product using your affiliate link. All right, that's how this system works. It's really, really powerful. Let me show you though, uh, never mind it being powerful, let me show you how easy it is to use. If I go up to the tools menu, you'll see that there is a menu option there near the bottom called keyword replacer. And clicking the keyword replacer tool brings up this dialog window here. Now, when you first look at the keyword replace a tool dialog, you'll see there's nothing there. That's because there are no links. There's no um, text replacement going on. If I click the add button, I have the option of specifying a keyword, which I'm going to specify as aromatherapy. And we also have the option of specifying a link. Now, I mentioned that in its purest form, its intended use is for uh, promoting affiliate products using your copy and your keywords, but you could also in, in theory, select one of your existing pages. And so have lots of relevant keywords throughout your whole website pointing at a particular web page. 
Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you have a technical website that talks about a particularly technical product and you have a glossary page that explains a concept in more detail. Let's say that you have a, a website that talks about SEO and you're, in your content you keep mentioning SEO this, SEO that. It's important to do you know to SEO your content. Well, uh, a lot of people don't know what SEO is. So you might say, well, tell you what, replace all of the keywords SEO in my copy with a link to a page that explains what SEO is about. So you could use it as a glossary tool as well as an affiliate marketing tool. But in the affiliate marketing model, you would of course enter a link to a website, uh, let's say excitepro.com, um, and um, you would of course have your affiliate link there. All right, so you'd have your affiliate ID or whatever it is at the end potentially, all right? Now, having set that, having said, I want to change all of these instances of the keyword aromatherapy to a hyperlink to this particular product, this affiliate product in this demonstration, you go ahead and click add and that's it. You can see the links there and click close. It's as quick as that. That's all you need to do. What does that mean when we actually preview a web page okay so i've clicked that you can see no change here on the web page but here's what happens every time you publish that web pa web page from here that website from here all of the instances of the word aromatherapy throughout your whole website will be automatically or automatically converted into affiliate links now you'll see uh, when your browser updates when your uh, window updates you'll see that all of the words aromatherapy in my body copy here are now blue underscore hyperlinks. And were I to click on any of those links, I'd be taken to the URL I entered. A neat feature, some of you are thinking, ah, yes, but if people mouse over that link, they're gonna see it's an affiliate link. Uh, wrong, because uh, the tool is smart enough to actually create a redirect, an internal redirect for you automatically for those links. So when somebody mouses over those links, as I'm doing right now, you may be able to see in the status bar that the actual link is pointing at a file called 6-aromatherapy-001.html, which is not an affiliate link. So people who might be averse to clicking a link like that are not gonna worry about clicking uh, on these particular links. Okay, so you can see there the, the net effect, and that's gonna happen on every one of your web pages ad infinitum. So any new pages that you add later on uh, that happen to have these keywords are automatically going to get uh, these links added as well. So a really neat, simple, powerful feature. Back to Excite Pro. Uh, there's another cool feature I want to share with you right now. Uh, in fact, two very quickly. They are the ClickBank tools. Again, more ways that you can quickly monetize your website content. I'm going to push ahead because we're sort of 10 minutes from the finish here. Um, if I right click on the web page here where I would like some advertising to appear, it's another form of advertising, a way that we can earn affiliate referral commissions. So just as you could insert Google AdSense or Amazon product advertising and so on, we can insert now ClickBank advertising. For those of you, of course, that don't know, ClickBank is a huge affiliate product network. You can go and sign up for account for free in just a couple of minutes. You'll get an ID that you can enter one time into Excite Pro, and thereafter you can insert this kind of product advertising in minutes, less than minutes, seconds even. So I'm gonna right click and from the insert advertising sub menu on the right click menu, I'm gonna choose ClickBank. And for the first part of this demo, I'm gonna show you the ClickBank product tool. Now the ClickBank product tool, uh, there's a lot to it. I'm gonna cover it very briefly now. You can explore it a little bit more uh, in your own time, but essentially what it lets me do is search for specific products. Okay, uh, within the tens of thousands of ClickBank products available. And there are, rest assured, pretty much uh, ClickBank products for every niche or niche uh, out there. So whatever your topic is for your website, you're gonna be able to find a ClickBank product that's totally relevant. Let me demonstrate that point. Here we have an aromatherapy website, right? That's the theme of this site. If I search for that keyword, aromatherapy, and just hit the search button, you'll see that we have what? Wow, lots, you know, lots of search uh, pro results there relating to aromatherapy. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose the uh, the first one in the list there. I could look at the sales page and read more about it, but I'm going to go ahead and click the next button to grab my link. Okay, so here we have uh, some link text that we can have as a default. This is effectively going to insert some link text into my web page, and that link text is going to point to that product using my 
um, using sorry my uh, affiliate link, my ClickBank affiliate link. Uh, that's uh, that's the simplicity of it. So we can change that text if we wanted to, and uh, it's already got my ClickBank set because I've entered that one-time process. I've entered that um, ClickBank ID once. All I need to do is click next, and if I wanted to, I could even click the grab images. Um, button to go off and actually scrape images off that target website uh, to help me sort of um, bulk out my content offering around that product if I felt they would help. And you can see, hopefully, as your screen's update, uh, that uh, I can actually select those and I can add them to my web page uh, as part of this process. It's a, it's a really simple process. I'm not going to add any images just now for this demonstration, so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel and I'm going to insert the link. Okay, so again, simple process, took a few minutes uh, just explaining it briefly. If I preview the web page, you can see uh, before I do, there is a ClickBank product link placeholder there where the link is going to appear where I right clicked to insert that, uh, that functionality. And if I look at my web page in a browser right now, we'll see if I scroll down that we have now uh, got a, a hyperlink there that says click for more information. It also is a redirect, so it does not appear uh, to be an affiliate link to anybody sort of uh, that's not into that kind of thing. And uh, if I were to click on that, I'll go ahead and do that right now. It should take me to uh, firstly that redirect and then uh, to that particular aromatherapy product website. And it's done that via my affiliate link. So were somebody to click on that link and go buy the product, there'd be a commission in it for you. So that's the process end to end, simple. You know, you, you look at the theme of your website, you go search for products on the ClickBank network that are relevant. You add links and images and things uh, to help draw people in and, and, and get them to click through to these sites via your affiliate link so that you get credited, okay? So it's a great way to monetize your content, your existing website content. Back to Excite Pro, there's another way um, I'm going to show you of utilizing the um, utilizing the ClickBank Network's um, uh, you know, substantial database, okay? And bear with me one second. I'm just uh, going to get rid of some of this stuff just to tidy up. Okay, um, what we're going to do this time is I'm going to go through the same start process of right-click, uh, insert advertising, ClickBank. Uh, this time I'm going to select ClickBank Hop Ad. Now the Hop, hop Ad um, looks a little bit more like Google AdSense. Indeed, you can make it look you know almost exactly like Google AdSense if you want. Uh, there are two options. You've got a basic one, which is your standard sort of text ad. And you've got a, a tabbed hop ad, which um, has tabs which allow people to sort of select categories of, of links. Um, it's kind of more interesting looking. It's up to you really which you go with. I'm going to go with the basic one just to demonstrate the concept to you right now. And the concept is this. All we do is uh, with the ClickBank hop ads module loaded, we choose from the two options. You can see I've selected the standard uh, basic hop ad on the left. I'm going to click next. And I can specify a keyword and you've guessed it aromatherapy is the one I'm going to use because that's the keyword for my site I could enter a tracking ID I could choose an account but I'm going to go with the default the one that I've entered one time only and I'm going to click next and at this point I can customize the look and feel of the ad okay so I can change the uh, the width and the height and so on and so forth um, what I'm going to do I'm going to um, just change it to make it a little bit wider. Let's make it about, I don't know, about 450 wide, um, something like 180 tall. And let's increase the columns to two columns, okay? Um, let's just make that a bit taller so I fit all of that text in nice and neatly. There we go. So I've customized the width. You know, I could obviously you know, fit that perfectly to my site. I could change the font as well to blend into my site. We all know the benefits of blending ads. So they uh, they blend into our content. You get a generally uh, better click through. I could change the border color uh, as I'm just doing there so that it removes the border again, blending it with my content nicely. And having made those changes, um, I'm just going to go ahead and click the finish button. And there we have uh, the hop ad inserted in my web page. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and click um, the preview button there to load that in a browser just to show you how that looks when it's on the page. And here we have it. It's just popping up here. 
and nice and neat. Uh, obviously, I've centered that just for demonstration purposes, but you know, up to you whether you feel it looks better um, sort of blended in left aligned with the rest of the copy. Um, but in this example, I've centered it so you can see it stand out nice and clearly um, and uh, nice and simple. You know, these are aromatherapy products that are ClickBank products and that are going to effectively earn me a commission if somebody that's interested clearly in aromatherapy that's why they're on my site if somebody clicks on these ads because they're relevant products to them i've got a reasonable chance of converting them a lot better than putting sort of nondescript irrelevant ads in front of them so that's the premise and that's why this is such a neat tool all right so those are clickbank tools we're nearly done a couple more things i'm just hitting now i'm conscious of that but i'm not going to keep you much longer it's worth the wait there are a couple of really cool tools to go that you need to see. Um, trust me, they're great. So the first of which is Tag Clouds. Okay, really simple. Let me just show you it in action and you'll get it straight away. I've scrolled down in Excite Pro to, I need to make sure you're looking at this screen. I've scrolled down to the bottom of this article. And this could be a page of any content, right? This could be, you know, it could be a con contact page. It could be a home page. It could be a sales page. It could be anything you want. Happens to be an article in this demonstration. All I'm going to do is I'm going to right click where I want the tag cloud to appear and I'm going to select from the tagging menu insert tag cloud. There is also a tag list but tag cloud kind of gets the point across you'll understand it. Tag list is just a slightly different layout of the tags. So the tag cloud uh, module appears and it has a tag cloud selected as you, you'll see and uh, this is a bunch of effectively keywords these are keywords that are featured throughout your website's meta keywords list those are the keywords that appear on your page settings tab it takes a look at all of your pages and it builds effectively a cloud that shows the overall keyword theme of your website how cool is that so this keyword theme obviously these are not actually keyword themes uh, for this particular site this is demonstration text on your screen right now but this keyword theme is going to give you a clickable map Okay, a map of links that are keyword relevant to your website. That's the first thing to take away. Now I've inserted that tag cloud, let's preview it and you'll get the next part of the explanation. It'll be really clear to you. So I just, in a matter of seconds, I've inserted a tag cloud, which is automatically generated. I just chose the sort of the font size, that was it. If I scroll down, you'll see at the bottom of the web page, you'll see there is a tag cloud okay a fairly small one I only chose a modest size but you'll see a tag cloud at the bottom of the web page that's featuring a whole bunch of keywords now the bigger the keyword the, in the list there in the tag cloud uh, that's the, the more the more mentions of that keyword there are throughout the site so it's sort of prominence of that keyword theme as it were and if I click I'll just wait for your web pages to update I want you to be able to see uh, what it is I'm looking at right now um, you should hopefully see this tag cloud at the bottom of the screen. There we go. Um, now, if I click on any of these links, um, you'll see that Excite Pro has, in fact, built a web page about that particular keyword theme. It's a web page. And because it lists all of the web pages in your site that feature that keyword that I just clicked on in their keyword meta, okay, let me just repeat that. Clicking on the link in the tag, in the tag cloud, has brought me to a web page generated automatically by Excite Pro that lists out all of the web pages on my site that feature that particular keyword in the keyword metadata. Hopefully that makes sense to you. What's cool is, is what I said at the start, automatic page content. And because it features text, the title and a link, and it's got the meta descriptions, as you can see, this page is unique content. Not only is it unique content, it's unique content that's relevant to that keyword theme that we just clicked on. So you've got SEO fodder. This is gold. This is gold for SEO. If you've got a lot of keywords used throughout a lot of web pages, guess what? You're going to end up with a lot of unique keyword relevant web page content really really cool stuff so you might end up with a hundred new web pages for doing 20 seconds work I don't know any tool that will give you quality unique keyword relevant web page content of that sort of quantity in that shorter period of time so this is a really powerful tool and there's one more tool before we finish that I want to show you 
please do give us another four or five minutes of your time because it's going to be worth it. This tool is something that's really cool. A lot of people uh, contacted us over the years with Excite Pro and said, look, you know, Excite Pro is great. It does, you know, nine tenths of the story. But wouldn't it be great if it did the whole thing? Wouldn't it be great if I could just, you know, buy domains, register domains, hosting, what the whole picture without even leaving the software at all? Well, for the first time with version 2.5, you can. You can actually search for a domain, register a domain, plug it into some hosting, publish your website, all of it within Excite Pro far, far, far quicker than you could ever do it before uh, using uh, manual means. You know, you may be a GoDaddy fan, you may be a DirectNIC fan, but this is a pretty quick way, as I'm sure you'll agree. The reason this is a really neat tool is because as you'll know, the pricing with domains and hosting is such a marginal thing. The uh, the saving that you might make, say, for going and buying through GoDaddy, you lose in the hassle factor. You get bombarded with ads. You're on their mailing list. You get spammed. So, you know, for a few cents more, the convenience factor of being able to just register your domains through Excite Pro itself is really, really compelling. Let me just demonstrate it in action, show you how easy it is. If you go to the publishing tab, the publishing details tab for the first time, and there are no publishing details in there, you'll see that you get prompted uh, to, uh, to get some assistance finding a domain. You can say no thank you if you want and enter your details as normal. But if you want a little bit of help, you can just click the yes please button there and you'll see that the hosting uh, wizard appears. Now, the first uh, thing you'll see is it's brought up my primary keyword phrase for my website suggestively saying, you know, you probably ought to think about registering a domain, something to do with aromatherapy oils, which is kind of neat. It kind of uh, you know, sets me off on the right track because if I can get a domain uh, that features my primary keyword phrase, I'm, I'm doing well. So I'm going to go ahead and search for aromatherapy oil shop. And please, none of you watching this live webinar, go ahead of me and register it. <laughs> I'm hoping it's available. It is. I'll race you. Uh, aromatherapy oil shop. I'm going to go for the .com. It's available. I can see that in the results that are appearing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. And from the hosting plans, I'm just going to choose the basic plans, just $6 a month. It's you know it's, it's pennies really for, for a, a website. Um, having chosen the domain and now the hosting, I'm just going to go ahead and click next. And I'm going to log in. If I hadn't already logged a uh, created account, I could click the create account button. Uh, but most of you will be familiar with how you create an account. It's a two minute process. Having created an account already once before, I'm just going to go ahead and log in. And you can see uh, now that I've logged in, you can see here I am. Here's my account details. OK. And uh, confirming that, yes, indeed, that's who I am. I can just go ahead and click Next, to adjust my billing options, just to make sure that I'm happy with what I'm paying for. I am. I'll slow down a little bit just to make sure your screens are catching up. I don't want you sort of uh, thinking it's uh, racing ahead of you. And having made sure that I'm happy with the billing options that are on the screen, I just click Next and enter my card details. Now, you'll forgive me if I just pause the um, screen share for a moment while I enter uh, the details here. Um, let's just uh, pop some card details in so that I can actually pay for this particular product. I'm just filling out the uh, credit card information. Somebody scream if you can see my screen. <laughs> um, okay. And then that's all good. And I go ahead and click order. So I click the order button and I'll just wait for the screen to disappear before I un un uh, unpause the uh, presentation here. It's processing the order. It's all looking good. Submitting the order. You see a dialogue that just explains that, you know, we're all good. Um, Okay, so once the um, once the order has been processed, um, you'll see the screen that's just on in front of you right now, and you can see that it's a confirmation screen, double thumbs up, uh, saying you know congratulations, your order was successful. So uh, we've successfully purchased our domain and our hosting. And again, how long did that take? Just a couple of minutes, right? So that process was super super easy. Uh, I'm just going to click OK there and having clicked OK, 
you'll see that the other cool thing about ordering your domain and your hosting through this is that it's actually populated the publishing tab for me. So you know that process of, um, you know, what's my, um, what's my domain, um, you know, what's the uh, FTP username, what's the password, et cetera, et cetera. Well, all of that's done for you. It's already populated. It's already input into the uh, the boxes. So it's for those of you who are not too you know, comfortable going out there and battling away with some of the other registrars, it's just an option for you. It takes much less time, much easier to do, and it even fills in the blanks for you. So there's my website. I've done some cool changes using some of the fantastic new features uh, of Excite Pro uh, 2.5. So, and these are all, remember, these are all free free in the update available to you as an Excite Pro user. I've just hit the publish button for Kix. I'm gonna publish that site. And while it's publishing, I figure now is a pretty good time uh, to uh, to ask uh, if we've got any questions um, that need answering, because it'll take a, a moment or two. This is obviously the first time that I've published this site. So uh, just having registered the domain, so it's gonna go ahead and upload all those files. At the same time, incidentally, as I'm trying to share a webinar with you. So my, my internet connection is gonna be sort of contested heavily now for a moment while those files are going up. Uh, while that's going on, um, any questions that we've got? Um, let's see. I'm just seeing if we've got any questions that the team here can um, uh, can give to me um, to run through. Um, also, while I'm waiting for those questions, I just need to point something out, if I may, um, to you. Um, right. Here is a link. If you could just uh, take a look at that link on your screens. I need to share that with you because it's uh, it's hidden. Right, there we go. Um, so I'm just putting a link on the screen for you right now. This is a link to a, a short survey um, just to get some feedback on this webinar, basically, and see what you think about the new features. Um, the address is www.excitepro.com forward slash webinar25. Um, webinar 25. So if you could go ahead and um, check out that URL at the end of this session, we're just a minute or so off finishing. If you could check that out, we'd be really grateful uh, for your feedback. How did we do? Could you understand me? Could you even hear me? Um, did you fall asleep? Uh, was it okay? Was it engaging? And, and more importantly, did you enjoy the demonstration of the new features? Do you think the new features are going to be useful to you? It's just a bit of feedback for us. It's really uh, useful for us. A couple of questions. Um, the Can you have Google Ads and ClickBank on the same page? Uh, yes, you can. Of course you can. Uh, that's no problem at all. Uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, we'll see, can you update the list of ClickBank products? Yes, you can. Uh, somebody's asking, the list of ClickBank products, of which, as you saw, there were thousands of them in total, there is a button within Excite Pro that lets you um, actually download the latest list, the entire directory of ClickBank products. Um, let's see, what else? What type of hosting? Um, any questions, incidentally, that we don't answer during this session but that are pending, we will come back to you uh, where we can, okay? So, um, again, thanks for your patience on those. Um, let's see, have we got anything else that we can run through? It's still chugging away in the background there, as I say. I suppose it's probably the less I talk, the more bandwidth there is available for it to actually upload the, <laughs> upload the pages. Um, so I, I should, maybe I should be quiet. Um, the manual, um, there's a question about the manual. Yes, the Excite Pro manual has been updated. Um, so you will find full documentation for all of the features that I've been through uh, in the manual, um, both off the help menu and off the, um, the online help. Um, the other question, videos to watch. There are some videos. Bear with me one second. Um, I will get you a link to those in just a second. Um, bear with me. I'm just... Uh, that'll be coming in just a second. Um, this webinar, incidentally, I mentioned at the top of the session, this webinar is being recorded, so you will uh, you will have the opportunity to watch this again uh, if you wanted to, just to recap on how some of these things work. If some of it went uh, a bit slow for you um, or you didn't quite get it, don't worry, you can watch the video again. Um, another question here from somebody watching. Um, I tried downloading the other day. It was slow. We, when we released the 2.5 update, um, we released it not realizing that we were going to get literally thousands of people pile on in one go. So uh, we did. It slowed down. You'll be pleased to know that we've released additional server capacity 
capacity. Uh, so anyone wanting to download the update right now uh, will be able to. It's a great, great deal faster and uh, you'll be able to uh, enjoy those. Um, here is a link for you uh, for anyone wanting to um, go check out a video, uh, a series of video no less, uh, that actually go through each of those new features that I've just described. Um, let me just share this notepad with you. Now the, the link at the bottom of your screen right now um, is the link to the new version features as the name suggests. So that's excitepro.com forward slash new hyphen version hyphen features dot HTML. If you head over there, you'll see a series of videos that kind of recap. They're only short videos, a few minutes a piece, and they give you a nice neat run through how to use each of the features we've just covered off today. So thank you so much for your time again. Um, I did thank, thank you at the beginning of the, uh, the, the session. Um, we really do hope you enjoy using Excite Pro version 2.5 as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, thanks everybody for your patience. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for coming. Uh, my name is Rich Butterworth. The Excite Pro team here have been working diligently and, and flat out. Uh, all of them have done a, a great job. We've got through stacks of questions and answers. Uh, we really appreciate uh, all of your input. So wishing you, uh, wishing you a very good uh, remainder of your day. We will be in touch with you shortly. Take care for now. Bye-bye.